Good afternoon. Here with me today is Dr. Rick Sorency from the Putnam County School District. We're here to talk to you about arrest that was made this morning. A local youth pastor and public school teacher was arrested and charged with possession of child pornography and using a two-way communications device or cell phone to facilitate a felony. Detective Allison DeVille was alerted to the possible distribution of child pornography through a cyber tip from, from a social media site on May 22nd of 2023. Detectives discovered Edward Wilds III, 44 of Palatka, had downloaded pornographic images from Palatka Baptist Temple's Wi-Fi following a Wednesday evening church service. In total, 54,000 images were discovered on accounts and devices associated with Wilds, with the majority of them being pornographic in nature. Wilds told detectives that he, that he had been banned by the company of one of these social media sites several times. Detectives discovered messaging conversations where Wilds was asked by a user to send photos of male teenagers between the ages of 14 and 16 years old. Wilds had sent a total of 42 images of himself to the user. In March, our detectives met with Wilds and took possession of his electronic devices and completed a forensic download. At that time, the sheriff's office informed the school district and Wilds was suspended and removed from the classroom. At the time of his suspension, Wilds was teaching at Middleton Burney Elementary School. Images from the download include a male child exposing his genitals to the camera. On April 12th, a probable cause affidavit was submitted to the state attorney's office and a warrant for Wilds' arrest was issued today. Wilds has since been booked into the Putnam County Jail and is in the process of bonding out as we speak on a $20,000 bond. This is a clear cut case of child sexual exploitation and I'm deeply troubled by the commission of a, such a heinous crime in our hometown. That exploitation and abuse of children is despicable and has no place in our society. While his behavior is disgusting, vile and reprehensible and I will not tolerate it in our county. Today's arrest of Wilds for possession of child for pornography serves as a stark reminder that we all have a responsibility to be vigilant in protecting our children from all forms of abuse. I remain fully committed to continue the partnership with Dr. Surrency and his staff to eradicate all such crimes and ensure that our children can grow up and learn in a safe and secure environment. So here's my message to all the sick, perverted scum who commit these crimes and whose moral compass is non-existent. If you think you're going to get away with victimizing children here, test that theory at your earliest convenience and I promise I'm coming to get your ass. Now turn the time over to Dr. Cerency to make a few comments. Thank you, Sheriff Deloach. I'm Rick Cerency. I'm the superintendent of the Putnam County School District. It's alarming and disappointing to share that Mr. Eddie Wiles, a teacher at Middleton Burney Elementary School, is alleged to have engaged in activities that exploited children. On March 14, 2023, the Putnam County School District was notified of an investigation involving Mr. Eddie Wiles. Upon being notified, Mr. Wiles was immediately removed from the classroom and all school board property, during which time we have been cooperating with the Putnam County Sheriff's Office and our, our first and foremost concern has been the protection of our students. And since the notification of this inve investigation, Mr. Wiles has had no contact with Putnam County School District students. Mr. Wiles has served the Putnam County Schools for 11 years with no prior complaints or incidents. With these charges filed today and the arrest of the employee, Mr. Wiles will remain on administrative leave pending a recommendation to the school board for his termination. At this time, there is no indication that any of these allegations involve students of the Putnam County School District. All parents of students were notified upon his arrest and counselors are available to all students and staff. This behavior should never occur, but especially by someone who serves in an educational setting. Those serving children are held to the highest standard and the Putnam County School District will continue to work closely with local law enforcement to keep our students safe. Thank you. 
Thank you. We'll be happy to take a few questions if anyone has any. What grade did he teach? Sixth grade. Sixth grade? Right. And was he uploading or downloading these images, or was he even creating this content? So he was actually uh, uploading images of himself and sharing them with some of these uh, child victims that we've identified. But in terms of but in terms of the actual child porn itself, he had possession of that. Yes. Well? Uh, so just to delve a little further into that, the uh, the device that we have in our possession has over a terabyte of storage, and as I said before, over fifty four thousand images, the majority of which are pornographic. Uh, our investigators, some of whom are still in the room with us now, are in the process of sorting through those uh, using some very complex computer software that we use in these types of investigations to analyze the remainder of these images to see if there are indeed any more victims. Are you able to disclose the social media pages in which these things were uploaded, things in which he was in contact with? There were multiple platforms that were used, uh, but due to the ongoing nature of the investigation, I don't want to necessarily disclose which platforms it was at this time. Now my question is for the superintendent, given the fact that this is a teacher, not only that, a religious leader at that, the initial reaction when you first found out about the investigation, what was that? Well, with any teacher, regardless, it's just uh, very disappointing. You know, we want our our teachers to uh, put students ahead of themselves and to serve our students and uh, you know we hold them to a very high standard so when we found that out like with any any employee who serves our children we we're very disappointed but the number one thing is we're going to protect our students. I have another question for uh, superintendent. You mentioned administrative leave. Is it a paid administrative leave? He's on paid administrative leave pending um, uh, approval by the school board to terminate. With, with him being a youth, I guess he's a youth pastor, a youth minister at this particular church. Um, is this, is, is the, I know you say he used the church Wi-Fi, so there was no proof that he did anything at the school, but I guess the, the access to this stuff was from the church Wi-Fi itself? That was where the initial tip came from. Uh, I can tell you that in the analysis of some of the digital images, there were some classroom photos that were taken, but there were no pornographic images that we've discovered as of yet that would incline us to believe that there was any uh, local students who were participating. So if I just heard you correct, the tip came from the church? The tip did not come from the church. The tip came from our uh, cyber tip line, which is tied to our intercept task force that we introduced just a few months ago. And you said that he was, uh, I guess he was requesting some things as well? Or is this like regular web or dark web, the, some of the stuff that he was requesting, or is it all just, was it just open? Uh, a little of both. Uh, the majority of the interactions uh, where he was requesting the photos was done on uh, popular social media sites. Now you mentioned there was a kid, a 13 year old, or a teen who had, sh had his genitals shown, he was requesting that from a social media site, not from the school. I'm sorry, I'm not sure that I understood the question. Yes. No, we do not have any indication that there was any involvement with any students here in Putnam County. But he had involvement, you mentioned there was a teen who had his... That was, that was one of the images that we identified as child pornography, yes. But among the 54,000, they were not all child pornography? It's difficult to say. We're still in the process of analyzing all of those photos. That's a voluminous amount of information for our investigators to go through, and I anticipate it will take some time for them to sort through all those photos. Now, did, um, you mentioned that he was teacher at Middleton. Bernie, if I got that correct, um, and he teaches sixth grade now. The schools have just merged. What did he teach before? Okay, he, uh, let me run through his work history real quick just so you'll know what schools uh, he started in 2011 through 14 at Browning Pierce Elementary School. He was at CLO, he was at CLO Overturf 6th Grade Center from 2015 to 2019. He was at Mosley Elementary School from 2019 to 2022. And this year he started at Middleton Burning and uh, was currently working there. Prior to this, the start of this investigation, was there anything previously that popped up on law enforcement radar involving this individual? 
No, there was nothing involving Mr. Wilds that uh, had ever previously been brought to our attention. Sheriff, just talk about how this type of investigation can weigh heavy on your on your investigators. We're talking about a terabyte of images that your your employees have to look through. So you could only imagine uh, put yourself in their shoes and uh, the potential exposure that they face. Uh, you know, this is something that. Uh, uh, a normal person has uh, has no taste for, and only a, a sick, twisted, depraved individual uh, has any desire to look at these images. So, uh, we uh, we actually work with our investigators very closely to uh, to monitor their mental health and offer counseling services uh, if so needed, and 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 check on them on a routine basis to make sure that their their mental health is sound and that they're not adversely affected by these types of investigations. And just to double check with the superintendent, this teacher did not, soon to be former teacher, did not raise any red flags prior to him being hired. None whatsoever. No. With him being a youth pastor at this church, um, I can only assume, because I know you said that he's in the process of bonding out, I can only assume that there's a stipulation that he not have any contact with children of that church. That will something, that's something that will be decided at a later date once he makes his uh, initial first appearance with the judge. Uh, the judge certainly is within his purview to issue a no contact order or to order him not to have any contact with children. So right now, if he bonds out right now, he can have contact with children? Yes. That, how do you feel about that? It, it's troubling. It's very troubling to me. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Do we know if he had any contact with the children within the church? As far as exchange of pornographic images oh, or... Sorry. No, we don't have any indication that there were any local children that were involved as of yet. Uh, that potential certainly does exist. Okay, I've just been given an update. Uh, one of the conditions of his release on the uh, on bond was that he is to have no contact with uh, with children. So it says specifically, uh, other conditions of release shall include no contact with minors, no accessing the internet, uh, via smartphone, cell phone, TV, or computer, and no possession of pornography. Do you expect more charges are going to be filed in this case? It is, uh, it's likely uh, as the investigation progresses and our investigators uh, wade through the, the volumes of photos um, contained on these devices and on some of the accounts that he possessed uh, that we've secured search warrants for, uh, I would be highly surprised to find out that there's not more charges that, uh, that come out of this incident. Sheriff, did he just fess up or is he holding on to his innocence? When y'all approached him, what did he say? I don't want to get into any of the specifics right now um, because I don't want to compromise the integrity of the investigation, uh, but there were some uh, very detailed conversations that we had with him during this process. I wanted to ask you as superintendent, can you talk about just how disappointing this is uh, for you? Because obviously when something like this happens, it doesn't just reflect on an individual, it reflects on the entire school district itself. Yeah, and um, like I said earlier, uh, I'm very disappointed in, you know, this individual, but, you know, we, we hold our teachers to a high standard. You know, teaching is a, a, a valid profession and a, a noble profession. And again, we expect our teachers first to love children and to take care of children. And, you know, when this happens, it is a reflection on the entire district. It's a reflection on me as a superintendent because, you know, the, the public entrusts their children to our care. And when something like this happens, then, uh, you know, I'm deeply hurt and concerned and, you know, being a parent and a grandparent, I certainly understand their fear and their concern. So um, I'm just, I'm trying to process it also myself and uh, we just want to make sure our kids are safe. We, don't make, we want to make sure our parents are informed and we just want to make sure that we're going to continue moving forward to do the best we can to serve our children.